Welcome back. Thanks, Innkeeper. Shenanigans back again for the third boss for Nax Ramus's uh, construct quarter. Remember Gluth? Let's go take a look at Gluth first and see if anything's changed. All right, so Gluth eats our leftover zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. Well, thanks, Kalthazad. So we remember Gluth's hero power. Let's see if that's changed. Not really. It's just free now, so it's it's an equality across the board every turn. So unlike, say, Grabulus, you definitely can't play like these huge health minions. All right, this is pretty much why I, what I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the deck idea that I'm going to be using to start with. And it's Hunter. It's similar to what we had the first time, but we've made some changes to specialize. For one, the Hunter's marks are gone because his hero power is going to do it for us. So we really don't need those. Um, flares and trackings are still obviously there because we need to get into Unleash the Hounds to take care of any of the extra business that he has. Single stone tusk boar and a couple of timber wolves. Not sure if the timber wolves are really good here, but the great thing is with the two hunters marks gone, that gives us two more slots to put things. So it's fine to have that. I have added uh, both explosive traps. I'm going to add some freezing traps this time, and that's mainly because I might be able to out tempo him and slow him down a little bit. We'll see about it. And remember, Gluth has that amazing weapon, so we're going to run oozes to try to counter that. I've also gotten rid of a lot of the death rattle things. And just to make sure that we don't have to deal with too much of uh, his death rattle bonuses that he's going to get from that. Dire Wolf Alphas are still in. I'm going to keep the owls because they can silence the death rattles like the haunted creepers and things like that that he has. I'm going to run still one scavenging hyena. And that's obviously his health's not going to get much bigger because of Gluz Hero Power. But we might be able to pull some kind of unleash stuff and just get this thing to like massive proportions like we did the first game. So we'll see there. Starving Buzzard, obvious uh, choice. I decided since we're going to run traps, we might as well run the Eagle Horn Bows as well. It's nice damage. It's not going to give any problems to his hero power. Like, you know, it's not like it loses its health only when I attack. So we'll hope that the traps actually buff the bows. I'm going to run two animal companions. Um, towards the end, I was trying to figure out what to, where to put the remaining cards. And for the curve, I decided... I'm going to go two animal companions. It might be right to go two deadly shots. Uh, of course, it also might be right to not play Timberwolf or even Scavenging Hyena for that matter. Uh, we'll find out, right? So I think two, anim two animal companions is probably better. He does have some things like the Spiteful Smith and stuff where deadly shot is maybe more important. Uh, we'll see. I have a kill command. I think only one kill command is going to do fine here. We don't need a lot of damage. And... You know, three for five is good, but you have to have a beast, all that. So I think it's more situational. Unleash the Hound's obvious uh, staple. I also dropped down to one Hound Master because the buff is only going to be for attack. Again, the and, and taunt. The, the bonus to the health means nothing in this game. And I cut, obviously, the high main because of the death rattle. We don't, we don't want to give him death rattles. So we're just going to drop everything that's, uh, you know, that, that has death rattle. We're not going to play it. I went and added Leroy because it's a it's a strong guy and it works great with Unleash the Hounds. So yeah, we're gonna give this a shot, see what happens, and maybe we'll be able to pull this off relatively fast. Yeah, he's going to use it. Great. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, that's game. Alright, so we were a turn late on that. Well, we need a better opening hand, so let's try it again. Rex 
Alexa versus Clue. Let the hunt begin. I think we're going to go ahead and keep the hounds. It's a little early for deadly shot. And trap is kind of cool, but we know he's, his guys have three health, so we're going to drop that. We really need to get to ooze, maybe even eagle horn bow. Okay. Not a lot of early game there. Maybe helpful later. Well, I'd like to go ahead and pull some crazy stuff next turn. I think it's a little greedy. We're just going to ooze and get rid of the weapon this turn. just realized that his hero power doesn't change the his health to one so we might want to go ahead and get those uh, get those hunters marks back in any event we need to do we need to do some fast work so what we're gonna do is swing and kill that guy I'd like to unleash but I think I'd rather unleash once I get the dire wolf out because I just don't want to double trade into those it makes no sense so we're gonna animal companion this turn and just see what we get to my side. Leoc, okay Really tempted to just go ahead and pull the explosive trap. That's a lot of life gain. I really could use it. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're gonna be cheesy about it. We're gonna explosive trap, hero power, attack. Join me. Since he'll have taunt, we're going to be greedy and just go face and hope he swings into that. Okay. Unfortunately, now we don't have much of the setup anything but I think we'll go ahead and play the dire wolf this turn uh, you know it's not really gonna hurt much uh, actually maybe we could hold off and but it, I don't know it's always good to have something on the table so we're gonna do it probably should have used the timber wolf instead but that's all right Do 
is an achievement for losing to Gloof, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think in this case we're going to Timberwolf and Unleash to just trade those. Interesting spot here. I'd rather not uh, trigger that. And I'd like to get face damage in, so I think we're going to go ahead and silence. Just so we can bypass it. Definitely hero power. I think we're just going to hold these for later. I traded. I'm really wondering if he will trade again. Because I'd like to just slow this guy down as much as possible. Get some quicker damage in. Yeah, I want to ensure that freezing trap slows him down some. Five, he's still going to be able to recast him every turn, but it'll it'll slow him down a little. It'll keep him from attacking. So, while it pains me to lose out on three damage for that, we're going to do that. Well, I need to get past him, and the easiest way is to silence. Since we're going to do that, we might as well draw a card. To my side. Nice. We're going to hold out a little longer. Six is fourteen. We'll do a little BM play since we have the mana for it. So there you go. Who will eat all of these leftover zombies now? Gluth handily defeated by the hunter. So, join me tomorrow. We'll take on Thaddeus. It'll be a shocking good time, I'm sure. Alright. Well, until then, thanks for watching. And again, take care, guys.